Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the August Snacku box, which, you know, let me fix that lighting. Uh, which, um, so the last one I had done, which was actually not that long ago, video wise, I put out, um, I had held on to it for a few weeks because I got really busy. I'm actually at a place right now where I'm not super busy. I'm on vacation right now, staycation. So uh, I'm unboxing this the day it showed up at my house. So this is the best it's ever going to get for you people who are waiting for me to do the snack unboxings each month because I'm doing it the day I got it. So you're welcome, I guess. I don't know. Um, so yeah, the August snack. I'm actually not that excited about the, come on now, fix that lighting. Sorry. Um, it didn't, but whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm not that excited about this for one reason. I know there's probably going to be stuff in here that I really do like, but it's very focused on jellies. I know in the past I've only gotten like one or two jellies here or there and like they taste good but like consistency wise you have to be a person who's really into that and I'm not super into that but anyway there you go this is the August look at all those fruits see some melon there um, if people want to sneak peek you want to pause on anything go ahead and read it there you go. All right, so let's show you what the inside looks like. There it is, in all its glory. I do love snacku, so like I, I know I say that like I'm not that excited just because of you know all the jelly related stuff, but I'm sure I'm gonna like things and be surprised by things, you know. Okay, so, so let's get into it. I also don't know like how this stuff's gonna hold up because you know I like to have my wife try half of everything. So, I don't know. Let's find out. Let's let's start not with a jelly. Let's do that. So, here's like some pretzel sticks. I think I mm, I think we have had this or an item very much like this in the box before. Does it say salad? It does. Pretzel salad or something. I'm sorry. It's really hard to see anything on that because of how shiny it is. But um, this is from the popular snacks portion because there's a feature snacks and there's a popular snacks. So it's on the popular side. Popular, lightly seasoned baked pretzel sticks, one of our favorite snacks. So the one that I do remember having in Snacku like this before, um, I remember really liking it. Because uh, it's kind of it kind of reminds me of like the sticks that they actually have for Pocky, or Pocky, however people want to say it. There's just like no chocolate or, um, you know, strawberry white chocolate or anything on it at the end. So yeah, it just looks like pretzel stick. Smells very bready. <sighs> yeah, it smells good. I like bread as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it tastes a little cheesy, actually. There is like a light salt to it. It's very bready. It's slightly cheesy. I'm not sure it's like supposed to have a cheese to it, but yeah, it's cheesy. And so it kind of tastes a little bit like, like it's kind of like buttery rich too. So it's a little bit like uh, consistency and and mouthfeel and texture of like a um, Ritz cracker and that kind of like buttery flavor, just like a Ritz cracker, but with some cheese and like a little bit lighter salting to it. I like that. That's a good like beer snack, to be honest. Like I'm big into craft beer, so I have some beers here and there. And this is, would be a really good snack to go along with beer. I like that. That's a good start. I really like that. I think my wife's going to like that too. I just think it's funny that it says salad on it. By the way, I'm sorry. Whenever I pick up and set down my water, it probably shakes the camera a little bit. So apologies on that. Okay. Let's move over to... No, let's, let's go to the other side. Okay. So here we have... Let's get into the jellies here, folks. This is probably... Yamagata peach jelly is my guess. Yeah, it's probably a Yamagata peach jelly. There's no like actual, you know, like there's no like branding on it or anything. It's just kind of a thing. Um, so I'm assuming this is the Yamagata peach jelly. Um, these delicious jellies are made with peach from the cool mountainous region of Yamagata. Make sure to put these in the fridge before slurping it down. Sorry, not following directions. Which I do remember, so the, the one that we had had before, it was like a pear-flavored jelly in like a little tube. 
and I had gotten two of those, so I did one warm on the unboxing, and then it, I had read that it said to put it in the fridge. It I did like it more out of the fridge because it it made the consistency a little bit tougher, which I prefer with these types of jelly things. Oh yeah, this is the peach one. Oh my god, that peach smells so good. It just smells like straight peach. Mmm. It's good. Yeah, here I go already. Mmm. I, I wonder if there's a, like a little bit of apple in it to kind of increase flavors, but... Because it does taste a tad bit apple-y, but there's a lot of like strong peach to it. Mmm. I can eat the whole thing, to be honest, because my wife's going to be like, fuck. I almost said the F word. F that. She doesn't, she doesn't like textures like this. And she also does not like mochi, which I'm very sad about. But anyway, I'll keep this. Maybe she wants to try it. But as you can see, I mean, it's a jelly. I'm going to wiggle it for you. <laughs> not great for the video, but. Yeah, it's very peachy. The peachy flavor is very nice, very refreshing, crisp. I like it. I do. <clears throat> I got two two more of those, so I'm definitely going to put those in the fridge and eat them that way. Okay. Now I need to <laughs> I need to step away from the jelly now and do something not jelly. I think that's how I'm going to have to do this cuz I I just don't feel like I can do two jelly things in in a row. Okay, so that was from the featured side obviously. So let's do this one which is, I think, Northern, no, I don't think that's the egg, I'm sorry, the, the, um, packaging on these look different, so I, I'm not sure which one this is, I'm gonna have to open this first, and then I can tell you what it is for sure, it says bourbon on it, but I don't know if that means, like, actual bourbon or not, so I'm gonna open it first, then I'll, then I can read what it is, this must be, this is a, okay, yeah, this is what I was kind of thinking it was. This is the Northern Egg Sable, which is what it's called. And the packaging does not look the same on the thing as it did there. Slightly sweetened butter cookie made with organic eggs and fresh turned butter from Northern Hokkaido. It smells buttery. It smells nice and sugary. A little bit of a vanilla. <sighs> Slightly brown sugar-ish. Nice and crunchy. Yeah. A little buttery. It's like a tasty, sugary cookie. Mmm. Well, I'm like getting crumbs all over me. I love the crunch on that. It's very nice and crispy. But it's like light at the same time. So there's a decent amount of like air pockets in there. That helps with that. I should save some of this. My wife will actually like that. That's good. That's good. Okay. I guess this means back to a jelly. We're doing it. Let's go, guys. Let's do it, peeps. I'm going to save that one. This one's... What is... What? Some of these are in weird packets, too. Here's a melon one. But it's to like two different melons, so I guess like one maybe cantaloupe and one's like honeydew. I'm going to read it. Oh, yeah. That's what it looks like on it. Yeah. From Hokkaido. It's like a honeydew and a, and a cantaloupe. I'm going to do the cantaloupe because I've done some honey, some like honeydew flavored stuff on here before. I'm not going to do both of these right now. Sorry. Sorry, peeps. If that makes you sad. I'm not doing it. Okay. So let's read about this. Melons in Japan come in many varieties, but the ones from Hokkaido are considered the best. The melons for this jelly come from a small town called Yubari in Hokkaido, which are the most prized of them all. Enjoy these jellies chilled. I'll do the honeydew chilled on my own later. Okay, here we go. Ooh, yeah. That's, that smells like fresh cantaloupe. It legitimately smells like fresh cantaloupe. Okay. Hmm. 
So there's, I was expecting it to taste maybe a little bit sweeter. It doesn't. There's like a slight sweetness to it, but I was expecting more. And it's almost like a slight bit, has a slight bit bitterness to it. So it'd be kind of like if you take a bite of like a slice of cantaloupe and you accidentally bit a little bit into the rind of it with giving you a little bitterness. Sorry, that's a terrible sound. Let me slurp in this thing. I mean, it tastes like cantaloupe, but I just have a little bit of like a, I don't know. It's just like a little bit of like a rind flavor on the end, which is kind of weird. It's also a little more of like a, a green cantaloupe, like an unripened cantaloupe on the end as well, which I'm not a big fan. I don't really like this that much. It's okay. Um, if you're a big cantaloupe fan, maybe you'll like it. My wife would not like that at all. Okay. Yeah. I bet the honeydew's better. I bet it is. Okay, let's hop over to this thing then. Did I have three of these? It's kind of weird because like sometimes I get two of something and sometimes three of something and sometimes one of something. So you never know which way it's going to go. I assume this is a send by. But let me make sure. I'm pretty sure. But I will read it to you after I open it up. Which, if you've been watching my unboxings on these Snacku boxes, you know I'm a big Senbai fan. They always have, like, a nice little tearing area, which I appreciate. Oh, yep, Senbai, baby. We're doing Senbai, baby. Let me bring this plate over on my lap. Maybe should have had it there the whole time. Okay. Um, this is Negi Miso Senbai. Summer exclusive Senbai made in Fukuoka which is southern part of Japan, made with 100% organic locally produced rice, glazed with craft miso, and topped with dried Japanese scallions. Ooh, I like scallions a lot. Oh, man, that looks so good and puffy and crispy. Oh, you can smell the scallions. Oh, man, the scallions are strong. You can smell the miso in there, and there's like a soy-type note, but it's very subdued because the scallion is the most prominent smell. It smells really good. Mm. Mm. So one of the things I really like about Senbai like this is that it's almost like it's sticky on the outside because of like the soy sauce or the miso. And this one's like that. So you get that when you're chewing it, it's, it gets a little bit sticky because of that. Uh, kind of stickiness on the outside. You really taste the scallions in this. Mm. So you get a lot of the typical senbai flavor, but with the miso, it's more um, subdued than if it's like heavy on the soy sauce. So it's a little more of a delicate flavor. But then that scallion has a really interesting dimension that it's adding to the whole thing. I really like it. This is different than any other Senbai we've gotten in this box, and I really like that. Honestly, like, I would love it if they do, like, a Senbai-only box. Now, I'm not talking just, like, the featured. I'm talking, like, the featured side and the popular side. Just all Senbai. I would just be like, yes. Because you know me. I love some Senbai. Hmm. That's really good. I love the scallion in that. The scallion's so nice. Okay. Now, uh, another jelly, as promised. I don't think I'm going to like this one so much. Because it's a flavor I don't dig, typically. Okay. So, <laughs> cherry. I'm not big on cherry, so this is a cherry one. Yeah, jelly. A jelly in this little, like, bag thing. Sakuranbo cherry jelly. All natural jelly made with cherries from Nagoya. Cherries were brought in Japan, into Japan from the U.S. and France in the mid-1800s. These particular cherries have been grown in Nagoya since 1876 and is only in season from late July to mid-September. Make sure to chill this jelly before enjoying. <laughs> I'll chill the, one, the other ones that I have. But, okay. I don't know. I'm really not excited. 
Well, here's the thing. It has like a tear thing right here. But like, I don't want to tear it down the middle because it's jelly. I guess if you do it onto, well, it has like a little thing to say, like, go ahead and cut it there. I'm just going to have to do this as it oozes out. See? As it just oozes out. It's alive. It smells kind of floral, actually. Like a little, like, flowery, like, blossoms. That's mainly all I smell. But there's an actual, like, cherry in it. Which is kind of discolored. Not like, I don't think I can show you. Without, like, dropping stuff. Can you see the cherry in there? Like, up here? See it? It's at the top. Oh, I just dripped on the computer. That's bad. I'll fix that later. <laughs> anyway. Mmm. Mmm. Excuse me. There's a pit. They might want to not do that. I mean, the cherry itself tastes all right. Actually... All right, we're we're it dropped on there. It's looking okay. Um, I should try and get that off. Sorry, everyone. Anyway, I'm probably just making it worse. Um, the fact that there's a pit in there, they really should not do that. They should pit those things before they do it. Uh, that's a bad idea, in my opinion, because I almost like bit into it. I just assumed that it would be pitted. Just they should pit those. Um. Low on flavor, in my opinion, until you actually get the cherry. The cherry has, like, a nice kind of subdued cherry flavor. It's not, like, super tart or super flavorful. It's, like, a easy cherry flavor, so that's good. But the jelly around it is just kind of, it seems like it's just there for the consistency, and it's a little sugary. So, I don't know. Not my thing. Not big on that one. Next item. We're getting down there, folks. We're getting down there. Okay, um, okay. I'm gonna do one of these. This is also from the featured side. Kabosu Almond Lime Cookie. That sounds good. Kabosu Almond Lime Cookie. Uh, seasonal almond cookies made with Japanese Kabosu Lime from southern seaside region of Oita. Oita. Kabosu is a bit more is a bit more tart than your typical lime and is used in place of vinegar for some Japanese dishes. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. I like a cookie type thing, especially with some citrus from time to time. It's not all about sweet or like chocolate decadent. It's not all about that. Okay, here we go. Some green in there. I mean, this looks like a shortbread cookie, really. Okay, I have to take, like, some pretty big whiffs of it to actually get the lime in there, but I can smell it. It's like a low citrusiness that, and then it's buttery and it's sugary and it's vanilla-y. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the lime coming through is very nice in that. Yeah, it's just a nice, like, buttery cookie that's not too sweet. That has a nice, like, citrusy lime kick. Hmm. My wife will like that. Oh, crumbs all over me. Well, that's good. Is that my favorite item thus far? Mm, no. Second favorite. That's Senbai. Amazing. Okay, I guess we're going back to jelly again. Dang it. Okay, now this is a, a similar packaging to the cherry one. This is Kyoho Grape Jelly. All right, maybe there's a grape in it. Kyoho are large, dark purple Japanese grapes that can grow as large as a plum. Oh, wow, that's huge. They have thick skin, so unlike grapes found in other parts of the world, the skins of these grapes need to be peeled. But the effort is worth it since the fruit is perfectly sweet with just a hint of acidity. The Kyoto, the Kyoho used for this jelly was grown in Yamanashi Prefecture. Make sure to chill it. I'll do it with the other one. Okay, here we go. Now I need the 
plate again to do it over this. And I'm not going to I'm not going to make the mistake I did before and like tip it forward if there's a grape in here. I'll just say there's a grape in here, trust me. Let's ooh. Yep, it just leaked. Well, you can see it looks just like the other one except it's like reddish purple. It doesn't smell real. Like it smells kind of like Dimetap. Ooh. It like smells and tastes like like grape bubblegum kind of. I mean the grape is amazing. Mmm. I like grape stuff, so. Yeah, it kinda tastes more like grape flavored stuff, but in a good way. Now the, there is an actual grape in here. I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. If I can get it. Just because I wanna know. Because of the description of that paper, I want to know how that grape really is. Okay, I got it. See? That's the grape. Ooh. Whoa. Yeah, no, that grape is awesome. And it, um, it tastes like that kind of, like, artificial grape taste. So, like, it... It's weird because you would think that, like, that grape is artificial, but when I taste the actual grape, like, that's the flavor of the grape. That's a really good flavor. Um, that's my favorite of all these jellies, although the peach is very nice, too, but the grape, that's actually worth it, in my opinion. Like, I'm actually kind of excited about, to eat the other one, especially chilled um, and not dripping all over the place. I made a mess. Oh, nice. Yeah, cool. Okay, so I've got two more items. Um, this one's... I don't know, it seems a little weird to me uh, why I don't, you know, it seems it seems like off, or like their brand of like a Cheez-It maybe or something. This is uh, Ototo, the perfect afternoon snack, slightly salted, fun, animal-shaped, baked puff crackers. It's like Cheez-Its, basically, is what it seems like. Beep. Oh, look at all these. Well, let's show the other ends. And then let's go back to this. Look at all these different shapes that's fun that's yeah, fun which is the best side to open I'm not sure it matters oh, they actually have like a little tear yeah okay what's going on in here stuff i can't read yeah and they have it broken down into two separate packages i like that that's cool all right so let's open one of these it looks like it's got, like, this little whale mascot on it. So, definitely very, like, kid-related, I think. They smell good. Let's see them in there. They smell like lightly salted, slightly cheesy. They're very crispy, as you can probably hear. They almost taste a little potato chip-like. Like baked potato chips, like a baked Lay's, how that tastes. They taste a little bit like that. Light salting, slight cheese to it. These are good. This is another one that would be a good one like the pretzel sticks I was saying, like a good beer snack. I like those. I think my wife will try them and be like, yeah, they're, they're solid. She won't be blown away, but okay. So good. Um, and then we have the final thing. Which, I always save these types of things for last. The hard candy. I'm interested in this hard candy because it, I read what it was. I was like, this is interesting. So this is from the, the popular snack side. Just like those little cracker things. Salted lemon candy. Refreshing candy made with sea salt and lemon juice. It's packed full of vitamin B1 and C. There you go. Salt lemon. Sahi. The same company makes beer. There's beer in it. I don't know. Probably not. What does it smell like? It's very opaque. I mean, it looks cloudy. I thought it would be like a brilliant yellow, most likely, but it's not. It just smells lightly lemony mm -hmm. lemon 
Not tart, though. I do see where the salt is. It's good. Okay. I'm going to take it out of my mouth to um, to talk. Um, much like with a lot of Japanese candy, it is not nearly as sweet and sugary as its American counterpart. So it's sweet, but it's not really sweet. There's like a nice, like, medium-low sweetness to it. Uh, the lemon is nice. It's, it's definitely, you're definitely getting that flavor without getting a lot of tartness. I think the salt portion is what is actually bringing the tartness naturally into check. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. As I'm going further now, I'm getting like, like a big chunk of salt, basically. Okay. That actually just went from being, like, pleasant to, like, not very pleasant, to be honest. Because it just got, after I got through the first layer, it just became salty, like crazy salty. I could still taste a little bit of the lemon, but it was just dominated by saltiness. And I'm sorry, I don't like licking straight up salt, and that's kind of what it was like, so I'm out on that one. <laughs> I'm out. I'm not a fan. So anyway, um, that's it. That was That was the end of it. Uh, I guess this went better than I thought it might, because I did like two of the jellies in there. I uh, didn't really care for the, the cherry one and the melon one, you know, but, uh, made a mess on my computer and my lap, so mission accomplished, I guess? I don't know. But thanks everyone for checking this one out. Um, I'm hoping for a send-by box. I'm hoping for a send-by only box. Let's all hope for that one, and then I'll be super excited. But anyway, thanks for checking out this video. Please do me a solid and hit that subscribe. It literally takes you a second and it can mean a lot for me uh, and my motivation of keeping these things going. So thanks again. Put some comments down there if you want to talk about what I tried in here, what sounds good to you, what doesn't sound good. And until next time, keep it brutal.